warm welcome to Marina Bay for the 2023 edition of Badminton's Singapore Open. We're inside the Singapore Indoor Stadium, which has held this event since 1990, and this year becomes a Super 750 tournament, meaning increased ranking points and a whopping 850,000 US dollars up for grabs. Well, this is today's order of play here on court one with 10 matches for your viewing pleasure. Women's singles gets the action underway. Tung Jung and Zhang are two players, both searching for a second World Tour event title and each with two wins against the other. A fifth meeting today will be fascinating. Women's doubles is up next. Pearly Tan and Tina Muralitharan are hopefully well rested after their exhaustive efforts in Malaysia a fortnight ago. Their opponents today, Japan's Ri Iwanaga and Ki Nakanishi. Last week's Thailand Open mixed doubles winners Kim Won Ho and Jeong Na Yun will be full of confidence as they start another campaign this week in Singapore. They lead the race to the World Tour Finals at present. We'll see if Malaysia's Tan and Lai can halt their progress. Men's singles action sees Thailand's hero Kulavut Viditsan who won on home soil last week. He'll hope to carry that form here to Singapore this week. He goes up against Taipei's Wang Siwei. In men's doubles, Akira Koga and Taishi Saito cross swords. The reigning Asian Championship gold medalists and Commonwealth Games champions at week Sairaj Ranki Reddy and Shirak Shetty. And there's five more matches that follow into the evening. Look out for Rahayu and Rabadanti in women's doubles who will be looking to cause a stir here this week. And as we make our way through the schedule, to match number 10. You can see Lo Kian Yu in action in men's singles. Semi-finalist here last time out. He'll be determined to make a good showing here again on the home soil. So women's singles up first. And in a few moments, we'll get to take a look at the bottom half of the draw. And Se Young will be the most feared player in this half. But in this section, Tai Su Ying, a likely second round opponent for our winner here today. And with Herbing Zhao also a featured name, it's going to be a tough run through for any player. So the opening match here on court number one, women's singles. Tung Jung making her way out first. Bei Wen Zhang, her opponent today. I'm Bobby Griffin, and I'm very pleased to have former head national coach of Denmark, Steen Pedersen, sat with me. Steen, the form that Tung Jung has been in over the last six months or so, on paper, these two look quite evenly matched. But for me, I think Tung Jung could lead the way. How do you feel this match might pan out today? Yeah, I have um, the same um, feeling as you do, Bobby, that uh, Tun Jung is really on form ninth in the world ranking, even though the head-to-head -head is uh, all square. But on the other hand, Chang Pei Wen, very, very experienced and more or less on form. So, so Pei Wen Zhang to receive serve. The change of ends called for. That might be interesting. A very large arena here. It'd be interesting to see how Steen sees the drift going this week. First day for us here, of course. But day two, and we get a chance to take a closer look at our two players here. Twenty seventeen's World Junior Champion. Gregoria Mariska Tungjung, she's 23 years old now. She won her first World Tour title earlier this year. That was the Spain Masters back in March. And she's now inside the top 10. And I think that's key. 23 years of age, but her form of late has been very impressive. Quarter finalist last time out here, last year at the Singapore Open. This is 32-year-old Bei Wen Zhang. 
originally from Ansan, Liaoning in China, now lives and represents the USA. She lives in Las Vegas in Nevada. Taller of the two players, she's ranked 15 in the world at the moment. She was up inside the top 10, and not all that long ago, February earlier this year, she was in pretty good form at the start of the year. Quarter-final in Madrid, semi-final at the Swiss Open, and the runner-up at the Orléans Masters. Zhang Shi Ying from China's hour under in the chair for this one. And from New Zealand, Trish Gubb to help her service judge. Very tall, very airy arena here, the Singapore Indoor Stadium. Be interested in these early stages to find out what the conditions are like as we allow our umpire to get this one ready. and uh, the way I interpret it, she elected to start on the near side of the court here. And uh, to me, that means that she's playing with the drift in the beginning. I think um, I, I sneak peek yesterday uh, here and um, I'm quite certain the drift is from the near side towards the far side of the court here. Steen, would that put Bei Wen Zhang on the more difficult end to start with as a single player? Uh, yes, it would, depending a little bit on the uh, shuttle speed, because if the shuttles get too slow, then uh, it would be the better side. But, but uh, a reasonable uh, speed shuttles, that would uh, mean that it's more difficult to play the near side here. You can't really play the back court and the back line of your opponent with uh, confidence. Um, you have to be in good balance to... Um, to play those shots and, and still they're very risky. So we'll see her play, we'll see Zhang Pei Wen play a lot to the front court and mostly uh, lift uh, or, or play the back court only from, the, uh, from her own front court. When we see her play some clears, it will be passive clears. Um, there is a chance that if she's really good at playing in drifty conditions, she could play a very aggressive clear, for instance, from her forehand side down the backhand side of uh, Tun Jun, but, uh, but let's see if she can uh, manage that. This is the way to play by Tun Jun. See that, I mean, it, it only flies out just in the <laughs> uh, later stages of the trajectory. Of course it does, that, that's obvious, but, but the interpretation or the judgment is that it's gonna stay in all the while until the very last minute. So you have to have courage and leave it on the back line. Here's the challenge here from Tung Jung. It must admit, it looked just out. Uh, I think it's out. On initial instinctive call. And the line judge was pretty quick to react. Saying it was in, you can understand the early challenge from Tung Jung. Very good call. I've had the pleasure of um, commentating on Tung Jun quite a few times this year, and for me, she looks bigger and stronger than she ever has done. But those weapons over Headstein, I don't know if there's many players in the women's singles game that are as lethal with that slice drop shot. It seems from both corners and both slices, very impressive. Yeah, I, I think the biggest... Um, 
improvement is, as you say, that she's um, quicker on court and she's got a, a, a clear game plan. I don't, I don't think technically um, there's a lot of differences, but um, she's getting herself into better positions. Boy, that's a great shot from John Bowen. Disguised cross drop shot. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> Look at this. Yeah, Look how one. short it lands. It lands short of the um, double service line. That that's um, the sign of uh, shot quality. Especially on the quicker end. Yeah. I've always known Bayron Jang for that big smash. She's very athletic. Seen her do the splits around the court to pick up the shuttle, but um, her smash speed is impressive. Nice to see that variation with that slower drop shot winner a few moments ago. Drift, how difficult it is. That was way long, still, yeah, wasn't it? It was. <laughs> well, attacking clear from uh, Tun Jung gone long, so it's not like it's impossible to. Uh, to put it long, and that shows us that we're not in the situation where the shuttles are as slow, so that uh, the advantage changes to uh, the near side of the court here. So definitely um, the better side in, in women's singles. It could be a little bit different uh, throughout the uh, different uh, disciplines, but in women's singles, the, the far side of the court is uh, the better today. side drift as far as I can tell and, uh, we're in the uh, middle of uh, three courts here it's gone long as well she thought she'd lost it Tun Jung but uh, it went long now, as I was saying we're in the middle of the uh, three courts and on the outer courts court two and three there can be um, sideways drift quite severe sideways drift actually well a five point lead for Gregoria Tung Jung as we move into the mid-game interval here in the first. And both players, but more Bei Wen Zhang, struggling to control the length of the shuttle. Really the key difference so far. So 11-6, another one long from Bei Wen Zhang and Tung Jun starting to assert herself, at least on the scoreboard. Yeah, there's a, a really good chance that this is going to be uh, a three-game match because when they change ends after the first game, then uh, Zhang Bei Wen will have the advantage. And that's, that's where we get um, a good look at um, how much Gregoria Mariska Tsun Jung has improved, whether she's able to um, to play uh, well on the more difficult side here. Just saw the coaching there that was Indra Vijaya, the former Indonesian international who is now back in Indonesia after some years in, um, in Malaysia, oh. where lastly he was coaching uh, Lee Shijia on a private 
basis, but uh, now back with the Indonesian women's single squad. Okay, another challenge here. Good pick up, so it looked, from Tung Jun. Took it low at the net, and Bei Wen challenges. And another line call. And I agree with you, Steen. It doesn't seem to be much left to right drift. I know it's a net shot, but some of those slower shots towards the net can drift out on occasion with the drift. Yeah, uh, there hasn't been a lot here. That's a good shot. Jumping win gets uh, a run of um, quick points, easy points. She's not going to um, invest a whole lot in this first game here because it's it's simply too difficult. Um, oh, that's a good shot. shot. Well, the shot that you mentioned, Bobby, early on. The yeah. first slice. That was from the round the head corner, but the my favorite shot of hers of late has been in the forehand rear corner. She hits a cross slice, and I haven't seen a single player yet read that shot in the, the first few times she plays it. Well, I uh, haven't seen one yet. I'm excited to see if she can beat Bei Wen Zhang with that. Time she read it. Chun Jung. Oh, it's going wide. Good net shot from Tung Jung. Nice and tight, and causing problems for Bei Wen Zhang. I think these drift conditions, Steen, would, uh, like you said, would encourage a third deciding game, but also their history. The, the last three times they've met, they've gone the distance. Yeah. There's never been more than four points in between them in, in their four matches they've played. The total amount of points, always four or less. Wow. Oh, oh another yeah. one called in. No challenge this time from Tung Jung. Jang attacking the body. And just misfires. Yeah, she's basically practicing what she's going to need if she, hopefully, from her perspective, is going to play this side of the court again. It's gone wide. Well, the opening game then for the Indonesian Gregoria Mariska Tungjung. She had her nose in front late on in the first half and just ran away with the second half of this game. Conditions not helping Tung Jung in the first. It could all change into the second. 21-11 the score and Tung Jung with the advantage.
So the change of ends, game two, Tung Jun on serve after winning the first. And let's see how Tung Jun can handle these conditions. Whether well, Bei Wen Zhang can use the added advantage of the better end. And mentioned earlier on that um, she's uh, a little bit on, on home soil, so to speak, um, Zhang Bei Wen. Chinese born, but represented uh, Singapore from uh, 2007 to 2013 before she moved to uh, United States. So she should know the conditions, at least around the stadium. But um, I think her best result is the semi final in uh, Singapore Open, as far as I recall. Yes, I think you're right, although I'm not sure whether that was the Open or the International, but I'm sure you're right, Steen. Desperate dive from Bei Wen Zhang. Great shot from Tung Jun. Is it possible, Steen, to dream this week of anybody overcoming either Yamaguchi or Anse Young? They just seem to be dominating the women's singles game of late. I think it's possible. Um, I think there's a group of uh, five players on top of Whip Atkinson um, at the moment. And. Um, Players like um, Tai Chi Ying, Hu Bing Zhao, and uh, also uh, Chin Fei. The Olympic champion is definitely uh, capable of, uh, of challenging, I think. Um, but, yeah, probably Holt, the <laughs> two you mentioned as, um, as pre tournament favorites. Wonderful shot again from that round the head position. We saw it earlier, Steam, but this cross slice, I don't think we'll get a replay, but a wonderful shot from Tung Jun. She's off to a good start, uh, Tung Jun here in um, the second game and she's not going to let it go easily um, because this is one of the um, enhancements in my opinion in her game she's become a lot stronger so i think she's got um, self-confidence and belief that she can exploit the um, drifty conditions here we see her a lot more attacking than we saw in in the first game and that's the way to do it but it's very, very energy consuming. Um, but Zhang Bei Wen's got to step up uh, soon because otherwise she'll uh, fall too far behind. Basically, Chin Jung is, is more or less playing full court against um, the front court on the other side because it's so difficult to play it control here by the Indonesian. Those two flat um, pushes from her backhand corner, she really had good control on those. And I think you're absolutely right, Steen. It's, it's not the shot quality necessarily, but how early she's taking the shuttle and playing an attacking shot, that's athletic, powerful. Yeah, yeah and there's deceptions on it. And we saw the cross net drop, that's totally opposite oh. the um, straight flat push um, so those two uh, are working together making it difficult for Jiang Bei Wen to uh, anticipate what's coming in that play. 
A lot of the times we'll see players playing the near side of the court here up for a, um, a long return on the um, low services because that's where you sort of have your time and you can uh, control it a little bit better. I think that shot there that uh, Tun Jun played was much better. A little deception and then play the front court, get initiative. And you can see she's under pressure. Chang oh. Wen, that's excellent play by Gregoria Mariska Tun Jun. She really dictated that rally. Bei Wen Zhang looked late on every shot. And is that deception, Steen, she's doing that with? Yeah. There's so many other options, and, and they, it can sometimes be difficult to um, to see here that the players are just holding uh, the shot just a tiny little bit before they either flick it or guide it in the direction to the front court in the right direction. Great net shot. And sets up the short lift. Tung Jun off to a cracking start on what we would call the worst end in game two. Yeah, and, and the thing is, now Zhang Pei Wen, she needs to take initiative herself. She needs to start attacking because every time she plays to the backcourt, then Tun Jun is attacking. That's really well played. But it takes a lot of energy and it shows that she's high on confidence, in my opinion, high on self-belief that she can uh, Get the job done. Much better. Just wide. But uh, Jumpy Wynn has got to work much harder to win the second game here than I think uh, Tun Jung did in the first. If you all can win it, John. But I think um, she's alert now to the problem that um, Tun Jun is not letting this second game go easily. Good control on the lift. There's the power from Zhang. She's not being given too many opportunities to that use shot. it. No, and that shot there, that, that's a little bit a weakness with uh, Tung Jung. The, the flat backhand, the cross she tried to play is good, but um, she's not really capable of pushing back. That's got to do with, with the grip and the uh, hitting technique in the flat backhand. Good little deception again. What a wonderful shot from Tung Jun. That's that hold you mentioned, Steen, earlier. And a one-point lead. It's become a much closer second game, as we expected. And if Bei Wen Zhang can take control of these conditions, we might see that third decider. 11 tenders.
So back to the action, 11-10, Tung Jung. As both of these players search for a second World Tour event title. Tung Jung, the younger, her first was much more recent. Bei Wen Zhang back in 2018. Picked up the India Open title. Interesting though, Steen, as uh, Bei Wen Zhang's career high in the rankings wasn't that long ago. At the uh, tender age of 32. Yeah. Whereas Tung Jung is certainly the player on the climb. She's always been a self-funded player uh, um, with not too much uh, support. Um, and I think it's um, changed a little bit so that she's able to play more tournaments. I know she's played in the Danish Badminton League um, a couple of years. Uh, the tattoo she's got on the left shoulder is from uh, the top of Denmark, from Skagen, a very popular holiday destination. Also is um, Danish team champions, and she's represented that club for numerous years. So I think the number of tournaments that she had could afford to play have been limited. Um, oh. It's gone long. Wow. Well, generated lots of power on that. Yeah. Skate, don't they make uh, wrist watches up there as well, Steve? They do. They do. Oh, he just landed on right. So she's taking control now. Jump Bei win. Yeah, the lift perhaps a bit short from Tung Jung. That's a better length. Eleven off, thirteen points for um, for Jang. Couldn't back it up with a net shot. She's got to be a little bit careful now, Zhang Pei Wen, because um, she's in a good position, but not more than a couple of quick points for uh, Tun Jun. Could uh, jeopardize the second game for uh, Pei Wen. It's going wide. Humid conditions out here in Singapore. High temperatures throughout Southeast Asia lately. And we've seen temps up in the early to mid 30s Celsius, that is, over the last few days. Big air conditioned arenas, but you can see the perspiration on both of these working so hard out there. Tungjun, however, <laughs> looks exhausted after every rally, even after point number one, in my opinion. Just her demeanor, I think. Just long. Shuttle seemed pretty quick, Steen, to me. Would that be fair? Yeah, at least not, uh, not to the slow side. Um the thing is, when you play the far side of the court, you have to give it a little bit extra. So, um, oi, there's a challenge from Bei Wen. Yeah. You have to push it a little bit extra. And if you're a little bit um, out of position or you're a little bit in front of the uh, back line, then it might be too much because you, you push it a bit extra. So balance is absolutely crucial when you play in, in windy conditions. That's why we often see uh, players that are quick on their feet do well. So. Wow. Well, that's a lot wider than it looked, that first appearance. Yeah. And an important point, given the scoreline and this stage in game two. I thought it was very close. Mm. 
There we see the backhand problems. She doesn't like to, uh, we call it panhandle that grip, <laughs> which she needs sometimes. That cross block early, Steen, would that be right? She needs it almost a forehand grip to. To yeah, to, to, to uh, play the cross, that's why it's so easy for her to play the cross. Yeah. But to, to really push it in the, in the backhand, you need to change the grip. Mm. Now we're seeing a battle here. Should be when... Oh, it's a good clear. Succeed in uh, forcing a decider. That's what we're going to see all throughout the third game. It's gone wide. Ooh, she's taking it to Njung. Jung's late. This is the longest rally, surely, of the match so far. And important for Bei Zhang to come out in front. Haven't seen too many of those so far. That one going 30 shots. No, there, there won't be, um, as long as the shallows stay reasonably um, quick, uh, then there won't be that many long rallies. Tung Jung frustrated, the forehand net shot letting her down. And it seems now. Bei Wen Zhang with a small cushion. And Tung Jung squeezing a bit too tight. And this is what a lot of players are a little bit um, afraid of, that you use a lot of energy on the uh, um, non-preferred side and still end up losing the game. Then you've spent perhaps more energy than your opponent did on uh, on the uh, worst side of the courts. On the other hand, you've got a better feel for what to do when you play it for one half of the um, eventual decider. Right. Yes, they must take a lot of learnings. <laughs> so game point. Jang battling hard, it's gone wide. And the American finds a way through the second game. Tung Jung did well at 16 all. It could have gone either way, really. Bei Wen Jang kept her composure on that better end. And that cross smash winner. Sees the American into a third and deciding game. The second, 21-17. So the umpire about to get the third deciding game underway. And how much, Steen, does it play on your mind? Tung Jung now on the preferred end, and therefore she'll be looking for as healthy a lead as she can at the mid-game interval when they change ends. But what, I mean, what would she be satisfied with, in your opinion? Uh, that, that's difficult to say. Uh, the first thing is you, you got to have the lead. <laughs> that's not necessarily a, a given thing. 
uh, because we're going to see a totally different Zhang Bei Wen from the first game here. We're going to see an attacking Zhang Bei Wen. She's going to play a lot like we saw Chen Jun play in the second game. So there's going to be a lot more challenge here. We're going to see a battle for the initiative that's going wide. That's a very, very uh, easy point there. She can't afford too many of those. So, uh, I mean, like you say, try to, to get a good lead, but it's a totally different uh, battle now. It's not like the first game. There you see attack from uh, Zhang Bei Wen. And um, she seems a little bit old, um, Chun Chun, mm. in the first two rallies here. Gone long, yeah. Yeah, she's playing well, fairly it's defensively. Yeah, it's, it's she thinks that it's going to be the Zhang Fei win of the first game that's coming out to play, and, and that's not at all going to be the case. It's way too experienced to, get to that. <laughs> Zhang this time, the backhand grip not quite up to the task. Opportunities missed there from uh, Bei Wen's point of view. Good pressure by uh, Tun Jung. Again, the flat um, straight pushes from the net. And that's another that's drifted wide. And Tun Jung leaking a couple of points here unnecessarily. Yeah, and the thing is that, that we've seen what it looks like when Tun Jung is, is going to play the near side here, because we've seen that much more um, uh, sort of relevant second game. So if it's close when they change ends, then it's advantage Zhang Bei Wen. And, and the, the danger here is that when you play the far side of the court, if you think to yourself, oh, now I can lift, yeah, you can, but you shouldn't. <laughs> no, you still need to win points. Yeah. Well, it's nervy stuff still. But missed opportunities again. Oh. That's wonderful. Excellent. Yes. That's how you play. Um, the far side of the court take control early and play these flat pushes um, sometimes block the net you can see that uh, Zhang Bei Wen was looking for the uh, net shot and we've seen throughout the match how good deceptions uh, Tun Jun has got from that um, short backhand corner just wide it's called in it looked out to us i think steve yeah. i think we'll both agree with that and but it looked also like the one we <laughs> the, we made a mistake on earlier on in the match yeah we are quite high up here quite far away it's tough for us to make that call an instant challenge from tung jung uh, she was right just oh. wide but, like you said, Tung Jun's got to be careful. Allowing Bei Wen Zhang to attack like this. That wasn't out by much. On the other hand, if she attacks out of position and makes mistakes, then that's okay. Excellent. Cross smash from Tung Jun, doesn't come back. And she's inching into that healthy lead. Yeah, this is looking really good. Yeah. Yes. 
whilst there's still a long way to go in this third game, it's uh, damage limitations for Bowen Jack here. She needs to keep close to that scoreboard going into that change of ends, but it's Tung Jung with a better shot quality at the moment. Yeah, she tried the right thing there, uh, Bowen. I think a little bit too late. I think she should have done it the first time she had the chance of back at the net. Uh, points away from a very healthy lead uh, at the mid-game interval to Jun, can she do it? Because oftentimes when you when you sort of concede the intermediate goal there and you say, ah, 11-3, that would be nice, then you um, somehow, uh, I don't know if you get a little bit... Um, Complacent, is that the ahead word? Of your, yeah, or ahead of yourself right. and start dreaming. And suddenly it's 9-7 or similar yes forget to work hard easy point to pick up there so if I were in now I would serve and then focus on the net more than my backhand side I don't think she's gonna play to her forehand side again she was Kept her late though, I think that's the, uh, she's happy and safe to do so. Oh, Pei Wen in control now. The retrieval. Good save. The body smash from Pei Wen Zhang. Really stretching Tung Jung around the court. And her experience coming through. Important point. Oh. That's wide. Well, a quick word from the umpire. I'm not sure exactly what that was about. Oh. Oh, she's given that forehand to Pei Wen Zhang's team, like you said, it's dangerous. Switch to backhand serve from uh, Zhang. And for what was looking good for Tung Jun at 9-3, Naomi Zhang working hard to stay with her as that drifts long. Four points then, the all-important gap at the interval in game three and this change of ends. Well, for me, it's not over yet. I think game number two showed us that Bayern Zhang was coming out on top on that far side. 11 7 the score. So here we go, four points. Well, now three, the lead for Tung Jung. The change of ends. Bei Wen Zhang on the preferred side and still in touching distance. Nice backhand from Zhang. Yeah. I just saw the replay there of the uh, earlier rally where Bei Wen Played into the uh, 
forehand at the net on uh, Chun Jung's side, and I don't think Chun Jung has got exactly as good deceptions in her forehand side as she's got in her backhand side, which means that uh, Jiang Pei Wen has an easier task of anticipating what's coming. I watched uh, Tung Jung play PV Sindhu at uh, the Malaysia Masters a fortnight ago. And the backhand. I watched uh, Tung Jung play PV Sindhu at uh, the Malaysia Masters a fortnight ago. And the backhand. And just like the very start of game three, where Tung Jung looked almost as if she felt the points would come easy on that better side. Oh, big cross smash winner. A bit short from Zhang, and dispatched with ferocity by the Indonesian. Yeah, she's nice. Athletic from Tung Jung. Extending the lead with one point and getting closer to the goal line. She's um, going to be in big, big problems now. Zhang Pei went those last two mistakes. It's going to cost her dearly. Side than uh, in the backhand side, where it's very, very difficult to read what she's doing. Um, Chun Jung. Oh, good smash. Really well placed from Bei Wen Chang. And the service situation here is almost as impo important as it is in, in the men's doubles because you've got to get the initiative. Got to keep on attacking. On attacking, beware. That's Just sliced under the shuttle. Technically, doesn't feel, doesn't look happy. Oh, but, I mean, she was ahead in 
the entire rally uh, at Chun Jung. So, I mean, of course, it, um, it's frustrating losing it. But if you can be ahead like she was in all the next rallies, then she will um, be successful eventually. Um, so she cannot allow herself to be too disheartened here. This was actually good. It was just the outcome that was um, to the advantage of uh, John Bewen. Yeah. A, a lift with no deception on whatsoever, that, that's just lethal. That's... Yeah, it's bread and butter for Bei Wen Zhang. Yeah. yeah, read it all the way. That's a much better return. Brilliant from Zhang. Oh, no challenge. Well, called out by the line judge. She's only got one left, um, Jank. <laughs> I think she... Um, that was worth a challenge in my book. Yeah. Huge difference. And now with that cross slice, the lift was too short. Tung Jung, too easy for her. Match point with seven to spare. Oi, 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 oi. She hit it from the mid court, Chun Chun, but put it wide. I think she saw the big light at the end of the tunnel then and uh, got a bit excited. And Chun Chun needs to refocus. I know she's got a healthy lead, but it isn't finished until. The umpire says it is five more match points. Oh, oh. what a save. A great net shot this time. And well played, Bayman Jang. What a rally. Instinctive at one point, off the oh, body, that one. Yeah, it took the top of the tape, Yeah. first one. And Bei Wen Zhang kept her composure. Showing her experience. But she's got to do it four more times. Just to stay in this match. And there it is. Tung Jung in the midcourt. Through the body of Bei Wen Zhang. And on the fourth time of asking, able to clinch the match and seal her spot into the round of 16 tomorrow. It wasn't the most convincing, 100% convincing of matches or performances, Steen, but she did enough. Yeah, I, I think um, she, she played well. The uh, conditions helped Zhang Bei Wen force a decider. I don't think um, she would have gotten that uh, under no wind um, circumstances. If there had been uh, yeah. little to no drift, it would have been difficult to... Um, I think Tun Jun played the better in this match here. She did, and it took three games. Confirmation of that scoreline, 21-11, 17-21, 21-16, and Tung Jung through to round two.
So welcome back to the Singapore Indoor Stadium. Day two action at the Singapore Open 2023. We've got women's doubles coming up for you next from Malaysia, Pearly Tan and Tina Muralitharan. And they're taking on the Japanese pair of Rin Iwanaga and Ki Nakanishi. Well, this is the women's doubles draw. Apriani Rahayu and Siti Ramadanti will be strong favourites to come through against the locals, Jin and Wong, into round two. Zhang and Zheng, the number three seeds, are having a good year. There'll be a likely matchup later in the week. And for now, right at the top there, Tanatina against the Japanese. Well, the last time I saw them, they weren't looking so fresh. They didn't have those big smiles on their faces. The Malaysian Masters a fortnight ago, they put in a master effort. All the way through the week, matches lasting up to two hours. Tan and Tina in front of their home crowd were determined 